All right, guys, here we are today. I'm super excited. We're going to get to know a little bit more about Carol St. Jean at Coldwell Banker, uh, out of Coldwell Banker, rather, in Londonderry. How are you today, Carol? I'm great. How about yourself? Excellent. Thanks so much for coming on and talking with us. Ah, I can't wait to find out what the, how this is going to go. Well, we want to find out about you. That's <laughs> okay. the fun part, right? All right. Um, so you and I have worked on a couple transactions. We did a class together. We've known each other for a while. And uh, I thought it would be great for you know everybody out in the world to get to know you a little bit better, too. And that's why we wanted to put this together today. Perfect. So let's start by, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself as far as where you grew up, where you've lived, and, and all that good stuff. Okay, originally from Lowell, Massachusetts. I don't think anybody originally is from New Hampshire. I haven't found anybody yet. So, <laughs> um, But grew up in Lowell, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, bought my family's um, home, me and my husband. We had two children there, and we ended up building our own home and moved to Pepperell, Massachusetts. And was there for about 18 years, and we found this house up in Alton Bay, New Hampshire. And we said, oh, this is going to be our retirement home. Yep. So for like 15 years, we worked on it, and it's finally come to fruition. My husband retired, and I'm still in real estate, trying to move up to the Lakes region, and just, um, you know, headed in that direction, and... Um, yeah, so we're living there permanently now. Well, that's great. Living the lake life. That's great, though, <laughs> you know? So you so you lived in Pepperell all those years? Pepperell for 18 years. Yep, while you had the place up north and you fully transitioned up there yes. full-time. How, how recently? Um, I just moved there permanently in March of this year. Oh, great. Do you yeah. love it? Do you love being up there for the I whole summer? I love it. I love boating. I like everything about being up there. Yeah. It is, like, it's my, like, peaceful time you know i feel so at ease when i'm up there yeah i don't feel like i'm in a hustle bustle type of environment i just feel like you know this is you know i don't know i just love yeah the just lake. peaceful and relaxing right. i bet even more so in the winter when everyone leaves too right oh yeah we were just talking about well, that fall, we winter, were just yeah. yeah um the end of october it's like we can actually ride around the lake and not have to worry about traffic. <laughs> right. The boat's still in the water? Um, no. Actually, we just had that taken out October 15th. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. not nice, right? Yeah, no, but, you know, it's a little cold out there. So now right. we're, we just bought a new uh, motorcycle, oh, a awesome. trike, and we're, you know, we're experimenting with that. My first time on the other day. Um but it was wasn't bad. My husband was pretty good with it. <laughs> yeah. Did he, has your husband always rode motorcycles? Um, he hasn't rode since he was probably like 18, 19 years old, and he got into a little accident. And I mm -hmm. said, I am never going on a motorcycle with you. Yeah. And I said, Well, if you buy a trike, a three wheeler, you got me. A little bit safer, yeah. right? So. So have you been with your husband since you were teenagers? Um, we met in the ninth grade. And we were, have been together since the 10th grade, since wow. I was 15 years old. Wow. So about 10 years? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> no, that's awesome, though. That's great. Yeah. Teenage sweethearts. Oh, good for you. Yep. Good for you. Now, you had told me before that, so you've been in real estate about six, seven years, you yes. said. Prior to that, you were a nurse? Nurse for almost 30 years. Wow. Did all kinds of types of nursing, you know, um, just worked in a nursing home the first 14 years of my, did home care, did doctor's offices, triage, did a little bit of everything and just wanted a change and something completely different to challenge me. And I said, hmm, I think I'm going to go into real estate. And that's where it started. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. It's one of those things where if you really have an affinity for it and you enjoy it and you enjoy helping people, because we do the same thing just in a different facet of the business, right? then it's it's something that you love. You know what I mean? That's the way I've felt about it for years. It's It truly is gratifying and satisfying to help get families into homes. Right, exactly, exactly. And I love working with first-time home buyers, and um, I just, you know, I just ended up doing one with a young couple, 27 years old, and now they're in their dream home in Nashua, and, you know, they're just loving Love and life. That's great. So are you licensed in Massachusetts and New Hampshire? No. Just yeah. New Hampshire? Yeah, I figured um, I was a little sure. older for <laughs> yeah. doing both states because I did plan on moving to the Lakes region and I didn't feel that I could 
you know, um, handle doing Massachusetts as well as New Hampshire. Well, it makes so. sense if you're going to be if you're going to be traveling north up, right. up that way. Um, so you're you're still doing business anywhere from the Massachusetts border north right now, with yeah. a focus on trying to move move up that way a little yeah, bit more. Servicing southern New Hampshire and Lakes Region area. Okay, I've gone as far as you know um, up north and. Um, you know, for a couple of friends and stuff like that. So I'm not opposed to going anywhere in New Hampshire. Um, but my focus usually is southern New Hampshire and Lakes region. Right. And we, when we were talking another time, you were telling me that you want to get even even more into the, the Lakes region and the, in the communities up there. Correct. Um, what, what type of knowledge or value can you bring for f- folks that are looking to possibly buy a second home or move up to the lakes? Yeah, anybody looking to come up there, you know, I highly advise them to you know, give me a call, you know, we can sit down and talk about, you know, what your wants and needs are. And, you know, I love living around the water. I don't live exactly on the lake, Mm -hmm. but I live like a football field away from the lake and have beach rights. And my dock is a mile down the road. And um, it's just, you know, I can get you to an island home. Uh, You know, I have a boat. We can get you there. Yeah. Um, So, you know, um, it just, it's just great. I just, you know, love the lakes region, the seasons, and yeah, you know. it's funny because if you're if you're a big boater, what I've found is when you go out, you know, on 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 somebody's boat with them, they know the entire lake and the towns around there better than you know folks that you know like a real estate agent that doesn't get out on the water. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's how you really learn the lake and where everything is and where where people want to be. Yeah, my husband's the captain, and yeah. You know, he'll take us when he, anywhere we want to go. Yeah. <laughs> he knows the lake backwards and forwards. So, you know. It's, it's, it, it, you need to, right? I've yeah. gone on the lake, you know, many, many times right, with friends of mine. And uh, I'm like, I would have no idea how to get back to your house from there. <laughs> you know, because you're, you're driving around for hours on the lake. And we it's follow like, the satellite towers. <laughs> yeah. Right. You need to know, you need to have yeah. something that you're yep, following. Exactly. Well, that's great. So, um, so first time home buyers you enjoy working with. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm sure second homes if you're up in the lakes region. Right. Any other area of expertise that people should know that, that you have? Anything special? Anything that differentiates you from from other agents? Well, I really, you know, feel like I am a realtor for all people. Yep. Um, just you know, there's not anything in particular. You know what I don't know. I can. You know, I have plenty of people who work for my company that, you know, will help us through the way. And, um, yeah, I think that I don't like that, but okay. (laughs) No, but that's good. It's good always, you know, sometimes it's good just having the resource to go to for things, right? right? You know, it's like I've been doing this almost 20 years. Sometimes I don't know the answer to to every question, right. but I know how to find it right. and I know how to get it. Exactly. And then I can deliver it back back to my clients. Exactly. So, well, Carol, this has been great getting to know you a little bit better. You know, I, I want everyone else to get to know you a little bit better. So hopefully if anyone's looking up in the Lakes region or even in, in Southern New Hampshire, first time buyers, you know, we know that you'll be able to help them through, kind of hold their hands, start to finish and make it a nice, easy process. Yes, absolutely. I look forward to that. All right. Well, anyone needs needs anything, needs any help, reach out to Carol St. Jean. What's your email address? Best way to find you? It is carol, C-A-R-O-L dot St. Jean, S-T-J-E-A-N at N-E-Moves.com. Wow, that sounded like a radio commercial. Great job. (laughs) Well, thank you so much, Carol. Talk to you soon. Thank you.